Hey, hey, hey. So um, I'm loving the way that Facebook Live counts down. Three, two, one. And I can squeak my chair one final time and come and be with you. So I thought I would just um, share this very short and quick live with you around um, the end of month reflection. I almost cheekily want to say pinch punch last day of the month. It's not quite the last day. It's the last working day of the week, I guess. So um I, and for those of you that have um, worked privately with me or in kind of like the group programs that we've done, you'll know that I'm a big fan of what I unsexily call the head office day. Um, and the head office day is the last Friday of the month and it's a chance for reflection, reviewing and then planning forward because I think sometimes we have goals, we have plans and life can get in the way Things can work out better than we expected and things can sometimes work out differently than expected. So I wanted to take time just to share a few moments to share with you some of the um, things that you can do um, to reflect. And, and why do I do this? Why have I been doing this for since 2015? No, 2016. Why have I been doing this for six years? Um, I do it because... I know that for many of you, you're almost fiercely ambitious. You're driven, um, you might be driven by purpose, you might be driven by desire, you might be driven by ambition. And when you are driven by any of those things, quite often you'll either achieve it and tick the box and move on, you might not achieve it and might spend a little bit longer than you would like to licking your wounds um, or thinking that you're not valuable or that your work doesn't matter as much or, um, you know, and especially in such a saturated market where you'll often see people doing um, a similar thing to you, same thing to you. It can feel, depending on how you're doing on that day, you can feel a bit like invincible, empowered, you know what, I don't care. And there will be times where you might feel a little bit kind of um, demotivated, maybe, disheartened, maybe. And all of those emotions are all right. You know, I think for me to come on here and say, always be positive, always think about the future is really not meeting people where they are. And one of my core things about um, people and being with people is being in integrity and recognising when you're having a great day and when you're having a not so great day and, and meeting people where they are. So a couple of my reflections for this month. Um, so at the start of this month, I was still recovering from COVID and I wanna say a big thank you to um, Jackie Young in here, who um, I, I say synchronistically, she ran a um, Get More Energy course, which was around how we can use our food and stuff like that to have more energy. Um, so it was very synchronistic that I was down to do that anyway, and then I was on the back end of COVID. So thanks to what she shared on her online programme, but also um, thanks to what she shared with me privately, I feel like my energy levels are a lot better than they could have been, would have been, um, and definitely than they were. So I'm shouting you out, Jackie, and um, thank you so much for that. Thank you for choosing to be visible doing the stuff that you do in the world because it really makes a difference and it matters and i know that it wasn't just for me for the other people um, that were doing that um program as well that it made a difference and gave them insights that you probably might not have even planned or expected but that's true transformation so the other thing um, that then happened was i had booked on to um go to a two-day event in london and whilst I was excited about attending the event, I was kind of dreading how my energy would be. One of the things I think that COVID really taught me was um, like the real use of the word space and really genuinely creating space. And I've got a pretty spacious life and spacious business because that's kind of how I've designed it. It wasn't always that way. Um, but the thing that COVID did teach me was to provide lots of space to do. So a few really cool things happened. So I went to the two day event um, and it was around um, selling to corporates. Um, I'm going to shout out Jessica Lorimer. Um, she's really, really great with that. So if you're looking at going in hard and selling to corporates, that might be something that you um, that you um, dive into. She's got a really great podcast. Um, so definitely listen to her there. Um, but I, I went with her because I've been doing that for a number of years, but I um, 
from one of these month-end reviews, I wanted to um, get a little bit more strategic. And for me, um, my business took a bit of a battering on the corporate side of things from um, you know March 2020. So I wanted to get back on track, make sure that I hadn't somehow lost my confidence to do it, and find out like what's working now. And you know, my clients are doing some really amazing things. Um, they're getting a lot of amazing revenue in as well. Um, and they're taking the softer services into corporate spaces. So for those of you that are in health and well-being, mindfulness, trauma, um, any kind of like mental health stuff, all the stuff that you might have thought that, oh, before it's maybe a little bit too soft or maybe not valued in the corporate space. You know, corporates are full of people. So... Um, I, I really enjoyed that and I would really encourage you, if it feels good for you, don't do it because I said so. That's not the, the way to do anything. Do some form of reflection and review and find out if it's something that is um, great for your business or not, you know, um, and, and make your decision from you. Don't make it from someone telling you that you have to, to do something. I'm really strong on, on you generally being empowered in your own way. So... What am I going to be doing today? Um, I'm going to be going through and reflecting on a couple of things. In fact, what I should do is open up um, the list. I do the same thing. Like I say, I've been doing it since 2016. Yes. Um, so what I will do today is I will review my business. So the first step is if you're going to do that, um, it's important to know kind of things like what works, what doesn't work, um, what you're going to do more of, what you're going to do less of, if you're going to scrap anything, if you're going to reintroduce anything, um, whether you know, you've had a great balance in what you've been doing, all of those things. It's really, really important to note that. OK, so. Um, make sure that you um, review the last month. And the reason I say the last month, I do do an annual review and I do a quarterly review. But especially if you're getting used to doing this as a habit, create a habit and let it be easy. Make it easy. At which point I wish I had my easy button. That, that was the easy button. Um, so let it be easy. Um, and then the insights that you glean from doing that then give you insights into moving forward. So, you know, as a result of me starting this process, I realised that um, I'm spending a lot of time in one specific area and because I'm not able to um, voice my work maybe in the way that I would like to, it's not serving the audience and it's not serving me. So it made it easier to make those changes. I didn't look for validation from anybody else, which I might have done in the past. I didn't look for permission, which I might have done in the past. I was able to make a clean um, decision and really tap into what was going on inside. Follow my gut, follow my intuition. So, um, you know, use that time to really look back and reflect and also plan forward because of the reflection that you've done. And what works for you, your lifestyle, your business, the thing you're creating, okay? Um, the next thing that I will do is I will do, I want to say a profit and loss, but that makes it sound really posh. And anyone who knows me well, accountancy isn't my thing. In fact, from day one of my business, I um, employed an accountant, um, including the bookkeeping services. I literally, at that point, was taking my receipts to them um, in an envelope and they would do the rest. Um, and that hasn't changed that is a stay in my lane kind of a statement. I know it's not my zone of even excellence or genius, um, so I delegated that straight away. But what I will do, knowing that, is I still do have to, um, on, a, on a quarterly basis, submit things to my accountant. So rather than waiting for every quarter, again, to make my life as easy as I can, I'll be doing that on a monthly basis. So today I'll spend some time catching up with um, any receipts and invoices that have come in, any um, sales invoices that I've sent out, um, any expenses or anything else like that. I'll gather them all together <coughs> and I'll send them over so that they're ready, even though they won't need them until I think it's July. So I can do that as I go along and it's not such a big job, you know. You as a business owner will be, you know, even if you've got help or assistance of a VA or, or anything else like that, you'll be spinning plates because you'll be responsible for, for doing a lot of things. 
So it's really, really important to, um, to do that. So some other things that I will um, be doing is some actual implementation. So for those of you that ever joined the um, accountability days, um, I still do those once every couple of months. And on those accountability days, you get to um, bring that to-do list or the things that you've been wanting to do for a long time and actually work on it in manageable chunks. So even though we do it for the day, we come, you know, we do it in kind of like hourly segments so that you can get stuff done. And for whatever reason, um, I know that clients have told me in the past that when they've tried to just get on and do it, something distracts them. But in that container of the accountability day, they just get stuff done. Um, so what else will I do? That will be the main bulk of kind of getting stuff done. Um, and, you know, I've just had so many insights this month. You know, yesterday was a day that I spent executive coaching, um, which is always a joy. Um, always a joy to remember that those people that are most senior in commercial businesses are humans too. They too need people that will hear them. They do need people that will see them. They do need people that will advocate for their visibility as well as knowing how to do it when you're like at the front of the ship, so to speak. So um, I think it's, it's a really important um, reminder and lesson for me and one that I really absorb and build on every time. Because I think if I entered that kind of work in a place of, oh, I already know this, it wouldn't do me um, any, any favours, it wouldn't be any good. And then um, I want to reflect um, and share one of my favourite memories of this month. And that this was, um, and there was a lot of them, but this one particularly brought a smile to my face. Um, and this happened last week. So I was running a, um, a group, a kind of a team day, if you like, and I got them all to do an exercise. I'm not going to do spoiler alert or, or kind of divulge what I did. Um, but one of the ladies in the room actually like took a video as this was going on. And I, I did like a 20 second video. And despite what you can see in the video, it's like the sound of laughter. Why do I share this? It's important to remember that whatever spaces you're inhabiting, entrepreneurial, corporate space, maybe you're the employee within the corporate space, maybe you're the senior leader, director, um, wherever you are in that, that kind of scheme of things. I listened to that video a few times. And why did I listen to a 20 second video so many times? When you hear the laughter and the joy that's expressed in that moment, for me, it reminds me of how important the work is, not even for me or to me, but how important the work like, is for people in the world who need it. And in those times where I might doubt myself, in those times where I might falter or fail or pause or think, oh, maybe I'm not good enough, which happens, you know, um, in those moments, you get to really experience um, what it took to be courageous, to put yourself out there, to stick your head above the parapet and all of those great things as well. Um, and the other reason I love that is because seriously, if I get to do this, you know, you get to do this too. And you probably have. And I won't know unless you're sharing in here necessarily. So, you know, do share, you know, Friday's a day of celebration and I will be encouraging you to celebrate and share um, your wins from the week or the month or the day. Um, and no win is ever too small. People think, oh, but I only did this. It doesn't matter. Celebrate yourself for every given opportunity. Like have that appreciation in the moment. Have that appreciation even before the thing happens. It will be one of the things that supports you the most. And by the way, that video, that laughter, that joy, really talk about, people talk about raising vibrations and they think about it as a way of manifesting or having stuff. But just the pure joy of being at that vibe literally makes the magic happen in your business, literally has you move forward when you feel like shrinking. So I want to end this video by saying like, you know, um, be seen, be heard and be visible and be absolutely unapologetic for being you and voicing in your world. It matters. It matters to people that you might not even hear from. Love to hear what you're reflecting on and celebrating on at the end of this month. Feel free to comment below. And um, I look forward to seeing what you're celebrating in the group. And for those of us in the UK, happy Bank Holiday Monday weekend. Okay, bye for now.